Hey everybody, it's Allison here with New Little Life. Today we're gonna to talk about how to get a breast pump free through your insurance. And I've done a couple of videos in the past on specific companies, how to do it. This is just a general overview. So if you're confused about that process or wondering which company should I go through, should I buy one on my own? How, when do I do that? We're gonna cover all that in this video. So here we go. Okay, so how do you even get a free breast pump? So the Affordable Care Act a while back included this for all pregnant women. They said that an insurance, your insurance company should provide you with a breast pump for every pregnancy. So even if your pregnancies are very close together, it doesn't matter. If this is a new pregnancy for you, you get a new breast pump. Now, every insurance company is different and how they chose to honor that new law varies. But for the most part, most insurance companies are covering breast pumps. This is usually available after 27 weeks. So anytime after that, you can get a prescription from your doctor and then go and buy a, or get a breast pump with it, and then your insurance should cover it. Now, there's also an option to get replacement parts, so tubing, bottles, storage bags, all that kind of stuff every single month as well through your insurance company. So make sure you don't forget about that little feature because it's free stuff. I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> So some insurance companies do require a prescription, some do not, so you can check with yours. Or you can go through a DME, which is a direct medical equipment company. So a few options for getting your breast pump are, you can go through a DME, which we're gonna talk about in just a second. You can do that online, or you can go to a DME company locally. You can buy a breast pump out of your own pocket and then apply for reimbursement. Some people like to do that. Or your insurance may have some other ridiculous option and because they can do whatever they want, really. But the most common thing I see people doing are going through a direct medical equipment company. So here's how you do that. A DME is like a middleman between you and the pump that you want, okay? And then they work with your insurance in the middle there. So. You are pregnant and you can go to a company like Aeroflow, for example. There are many of those and they all offer different pumps, different pricing and stuff like that. So check through a few and see which one you like the best. I'll put a list of them down below for you so you can check out a few. If you find another one that you really love, feel free to comment that because we're all in this together and we all need the help we can get. So let's use Aeroflow as an example. You can go to the Aeroflow website and it will have you put in your information. So you put in your name, your birthday, your insurance, uh, what state you're in, if you, you're in the US probably, if you're using this system. And then it will tell you what you qualify for. So it might tell you right away, each company's a little bit different, or it might process your information and then someone will contact you and tell you what which pumps you qualify for through your insurance, but then you don't ever have to deal with your insurance. You don't have to call them. You don't have to do anything. This company will handle all that for you, the billing. So at that point, then you just choose a breast pump. So what breast pumps do they offer? You can pick one. You can watch tons of breast pump videos on this channel. There's also a bunch on Instagram. I tend to put them out on Instagram quicker because I can get those videos out much faster than I can YouTube videos. Um, but, and Instagram is a great place to request quick videos to answer questions on a breast pump that you're looking at. So you can go over there and, and ask me, I'm happy to help you. So you pick one and then your, the DME company will work with your insurance, get that all set up and they mail it to you. They also mail you supplies every month. So they will continue to work with your insurance company and send you replacement supplies every month. So that is honestly my recommendation because it's so flipping easy and they do all the hard work for you. I don't like talking to insurance companies, but maybe you do. That's really it. The process is very simple. Usually where moms get hung up is the actual choosing a breast pump. So oh, I've got tons of resources for you and I've got even more coming. We've got some pumping and breastfeeding courses coming out very soon. Um, so don't forget to check the description for those. We have a Facebook group. It's breast pump reviews support for choosing a breast pump Facebook group. That's specifically what it's for. Go in there, post your questions, look through other mom stuff. They're really, really helpful over there. And I love our little group that we've got going on. So if you have more questions about how to get a free breast pump, specifically through your insurance, let me know and I'll see how I can help. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.